Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here today on behalf of Katrina and Rory on this very happy occasion as we celebrate their marriage. Today, Katrina and Rory will make simple and honest promises to one another, witnessed by you, their closest family and friends. They invite you to celebrate the differences as well as recognize the similarities between this and other weddings you may have attended. They are keen that their ceremony truly reflects their relationship and personalities and that it will be a memorable day for all of you. You are, after all, the people that they want with them on this joyous occasion. special poem that Rory wrote himself for Katrina. <laughs> What's Mickey without Minnie? Or Piglet without Pooh? What's Donald without Daisy? That's me without you. When Ariel doesn't sing and Pooh hates honey. When Tigger stops bouncing and Goofy isn't funny. When Peter Pan can't fly and Simba never roars when Alice no longer fits through small doors, when Dumbo's ears are small and happily ever after isn't true, even then I won't stop loving you. The Wedding Singer. I want to make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. All I want to do <laughs> is grow old with you. I'll get your medicine when your tummy aches. Build you a fire if the furnace breaks. Oh, it could be so nice growing old with you. I'll miss you, kiss you, give you my coat when you are cold. Need you, feed you, even let you hold the remote control. <laughs> so let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink, put you to bed when you've had too much to drink. Oh, I could be the man who grows old with you. I want to grow old with you. Stars overhead turn For the first time, my life 
to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share a relationship of love, tenderness and laughter, to confide in and trust her above all others, to respect and stand by her in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and to cherish her. I do. To be <laughs> Good man. Do you, Katrina, take Rory to be your lawfully wedded husband? To share a relationship of love, tenderness and laughter. To confide in and trust him above all others. To respect and stand by him in everything as an equal partner, but above all else, to love and to cherish him. Voyage by Johnny Doohan. I'm a sailor, you're my first mate. We signed on together, we coupled our fate. Hauled by our anchor, determined not to fail. For our heart's treasure, together we set sail. With no maps to guide us, we steered our own course. Rode out the storms when the winds were gale and force. Set out the dawns in patience and hope. Working together, we learned how to cope. Together we're in this relationship, we built it with care to last the whole trip. Our true destination is not marked on any charts, we're navigating to the shores of the heart. Love is an ocean and love is a boat in troubled waters that keeps us afloat. When we started the voyage, there was just you and me, now to gathered around us, we have our own crew. Katrina. Thank you. 
with you, Katrina. To be my wife. To be my wife. And with this ring. And with this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. I, Katrina. I, Katrina. Take you, Rory. Take you, Rory. To be my husband. To be my husband. And with this ring. And with this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. The circle is a symbol of wholeness and peace. In the form of a ring, may it stand for you as a symbol of your love for each other, Katrina and Rory. You have freely consented to join your lives. You have pledged yourselves to each other and you have sealed your vows by the exchanging of rings. And in the presence of this company and by the power vested in me by the government of Ireland, mm -hmm. it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Firstly, I would like to welcome you all to Ratsala for the marriage of Katrina and Rory. After three attempts, we finally got here. I have to say that my daughter is looking beautiful today. But then, hold on, hold on. She looks beautiful every day, anyway. I just want to say a few words about Katrina. As a family, we are all very proud of her. Anybody who knows Katrina knows what a kind, caring, and loving person she is. It's hard to recall the first time I met Rory, it's so long ago. But what I do know is he's a gentleman and will take good care of my daughter. I would take like to take this opportunity to wish them many years of wedded bliss and we'll all stand and toast the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. Cheers! about Rory. Known each other all our lives. <laughs> there he is there, my son. Since Rory was a kid, uh, Rory's always been very determined. Always a go-getter. Always, always got what he wanted in life. And we are so proud of him. Uh, love him very much. And so proud of everything that he's achieved today. Between his job, house. All proud, all, sorry, of all family. All our three kids. Until our days are through. Advice, have plenty of fun. Plenty of kids to poke fun at, like me and Kim and our three kids. There's always, there's always entertainment there. Have fun. Laugh together and enjoy your life. So good. I have a toast there now for Rory and Katrina. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.
my beautiful wife would like to welcome you all to our party. Katrina and I, as been mentioned, we were gone out 13 years. And while 13 might be an unlucky number for some, yeah? Yeah. We're sitting here third time lucky with the planning of the wedding. And say we have, have had the most incredible 13 years together and I'm so excited about what the future holds for both of us and exactly what the rest of our life means for us. How are you I'd say right, I've actually no idea what I'm going to say next, but I just think I'm just going to say <laughs> wing it, good night. good night, and thank you so much, and I'm going to hang up with you. A couple of years ago, myself, Katz and Roars were away on holidays in New York. We were on the night out. And myself and Roars were having an argument. As most of you probably are aware, it's a very rare thing to happen. <laughs> we're having an argument anyway. And Kat turned to one of our friends who was with us at the time and just said, I wish he'd fight with me like that. <laughs> Well, cats, it gives me the greatest pleasure to announce, as of today, he is officially all yours. <laughs> He's the best friend that I could ever ask for. Yeah. Yes. He dropped everything in the heartbeat, including Cat. <laughs> no, he would. He would drop everything in the heartbeat 
There's no one else I would rather in my corner fighting my side. He's my best man and my best mate always. And I love him. Hey. For one final time tonight, if everyone could be standing and raise their glasses to the best of friends, to making memories, and to the new Mr. and Mrs. McCarthy! Slime Jet! It's tequila time!